Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for an incredibly special video. Um, this is a video that, well quite honestly, will only be done once because this is celebrating an incredible milestone for myself. Anyways, um, hence the name, 20 year shave. Anyhow. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll get into that after I go over what I'm going to be using in the shave tonight. By the way, I hope all of you are doing well, and I hope you all have been having great shaves, wonderful mail calls, all that. Um, Jill, great, great uh, review on the new Phoenix Razor. Um, didn't get a chance to watch all of that, uh, but you know something came up, I'm going to get back to it. Anyhow, the razor is my Colonial Razors General with a Feather Pro Artist Club blade. By the way, everything in this shave are products that are some of my most favorite in the den. That is my one of my favorite razors. I absolutely love that razor. Um, I think I said it's black anodized aluminum. By the way, the date today is October 1st, 2018. The soap. Hump Day by K Shave Works. <clears throat> Absolutely love this soap. The notes on that is bright orange, grapefruit, pineapple, cassock, whatever that is, and vanilla. The brush. My Whip Dog High Mountain White in the tall amber handle. Badger brush. Okay, so let me go ahead load up the soap. Anyways, uh, twenty years ago, October first of nineteen ninety eight is my official date now with the subject matter I'm gonna get into. If you're not into it, or if you don't want to hear about it, I understand, okay? But anyways, 20 years ago on October 1st, 1998, was the day I officially considered myself done with methamphetamines. Um, eh. uh, that's a good load right there for a second more. Get a little bit of water on it. I've been doing methamphetamines off and on for a few, for several years at that point. Um, basically, to get off of the amphetamines in September of 1998, I told my girlfriend at the time, I said, this lifestyle is killing me, it's killing you. Either you can stay here, or you can go with me. Let me wet the face. So, I was living in a trailer park here in the town I live in. Actually, not far from here. The trailer I lived in was a 40 foot 1948 streamlined wood sided trailer. Um, if you've ever seen, some of you are going to be like, what? Never seen that movie. Some of you older folks might have. Ricky and Lucy's The Long Long Trailer. The trailer was this horrible color green that the person painted it, painted it, painted it before I owned it. It was like this horrible avocado green. And uh, This is a nice trailer. 
streamlines. Are quite nice. At least I think it was a streamline. Oh dang. <laughs> um, but I told my girlfriend, I said, this lifestyle is killing us. Go with me or stay behind. Your choice. She chose to go with me. Stand up. Hang on guys, got soap on my hands. Hang on, I'm gonna cut away for a second because my handle came loose. I gotta fix the blade. Be back in a minute. Hey guys. Anyways, she chose to go with me. First pass with the grade, and this is cutting very nicely. Um, very slick soap. K Shave Works has an absolute wonderful base. I don't know if they've changed it since I bought this tub. Use some samples of theirs. More recent samples. So, um, but yeah, so anyhow, I walked down to my trailer park manager's place and I told him, I said, we're leaving. I was two months behind on the rent, said, can't afford. Can't afford to pay the rent. Um, because of drugs, of course. And, uh, so, uh, he said, well, sign the trailer over. So, or he contacted the owner. said, look, um, he's not going to be able to pay the rent, he's leaving, so the owner said, I'm signing the trailer over, so I did so. I don't know if I mentioned it, I called that trailer my green, green Twinkie. Because that's what it looked like. Big ass green Twinkie. Green Twinkie. The Twinkie that had seen better days, so to speak, because of the color. Um, in case you're not familiar with these AC razors, they hit a lot of real estate quickly. So, me and my girlfriend, after I signed the trailer over, I told them, said, give me a couple of days, and we'll be out. The manager said, okay, no problem. So, we moved as close to the very outskirts of the town I was in as possible, or the town we're in as possible. Um, Uh, basically packed up what we could carry and left everything else behind. Um, I took those things that were most important to me, clothing, some footwear, I had a lot of things stolen from me by drug users uh, that knew how to 
knew that my door wasn't the most secure and they had jimmied their way in. And of course, when I did, you yeah, no, 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 we didn't do that. Didn't, no, uh uh. You know, people said, I saw him go in your trailer and carry stuff out, dude. So, yeah, but. What's that old saying? You lie down with dogs, you get fleas. So, yeah. <laughs> I had tools stolen. <sighs> Electronics. Just various different things. So, I didn't have a whole lot left. Cross grain. I think I mentioned this razor is on its second use. So, but uh, yeah, just took what little things was important. And, uh, moved out, like I said, as far out as possible. to the outskirts. In fact, moved out out by the agriculture part of the agricultural area. And uh, my excitement was was watching Corn Girl, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, that and glue trapping mice. <laughs> yeah, we had, you know, um, the room had a kitchen in it. <laughs> One moment, folks. That was my younger brother, uh, which I got into wet shaving on my dad, um, but, so of course, it was a, the place, like I said, it was kind of run down, but it had a kitchenette, so, one moment, let me rinse off. Anyhow. So, uh, it wasn't a bad place. It wasn't the worst place I'd ever been in. It wasn't the best either, that's for sure. Um, had a section of the hotel that was gutted because of fire, or motel. Um, so, and of course, some unsavory people stayed there. So, but, um, anyways, had mice ended up chewing on a pair of work boots I had, nice leather pair, one of the few nice things I had left, so I was instantly out for, for revenge, so to speak. So, that's why I got the glue traps, a lot of glue traps from the manager, and I just baited the holy hell out of that place. And then to top it all off, the rodents were smarter than the glue traps, so to speak. Until, and if you ever have rodents and you use glue traps, I'll give you a tip. Take a piece, take a piece of bread. Put some peanut butter on it, stick it in the middle of that glue trap. They love peanut butter. I ended up on one glue trap catching two large and like three or four small. So, yeah, that glue trap was really, really busy going against green. But, and then come October 1st of 1998. My girlfriend and I 
we moved into a one bedroom, one bath apartment. I pretty much stayed sober, other than for medicinal reasons, marijuana, which I gave that up a number of years back, but other uh, than medicinal marijuana and alcohol, which I still drink from time to time, not heavily, but uh, she went ahead and since, well, she couldn't do methamphetamines anymore because I told her if she ever went back to it, she'd be out on her ass and her and I'd be done. Basically, because I wasn't going to kill myself or nobody. Um, at least no woman. So she started she decided she wanted to abuse prescription drugs. So um luckily Me and a friend of ours who I eventually got with her and I took control of my girlfriend's prescription drugs had to basically and um basically dispense them as directed. I'm going to tell her side of that or she needs to check into a rehab. So, <laughs> she ended up basically playing it cool for a couple of weeks and um, went ahead and went to go out with a friend, a girlfriend of hers because we had a little pool hall up the street and they wanted to go up and play pool and I get a phone call from her and she's all, hey uh, I'm breaking up with you. So, I ended that relationship. And then the next time I saw her, she had a guy with her that looks like he had just been on a run and she looked like she was on a run. And they're all oh, we're getting married. And that's, oh, okay. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, so yeah, 20 years clean. Um, I'd seen my ex multiple times after that, several, not a whole bunch, maybe four times, and she looked, well, she hadn't quite kicked that demon, and last I saw her, um, she looked healthy, she looked happy, and um, we really didn't talk, but she looked healthy, she looked happy, and and um, from everything my brother and sister-in-law said, because she actually is going to the same church they go to, um, she's so she looks like she's staying sober. So uh, that's all I that's all I wanted for her was that she would eventually live a sober life, at least off you know get off the get off the narcotics. So so far it looks like she is. Anyways. Guys, I hope I, that didn't bore you too bad. Anyways, that was a great shave. As you can see, that Colonial General took down five, six, 
days, maybe a week's worth of growth. I've been having some issues with my back and my shoulders, so it's been dang near, yeah, it's been about five or six days, maybe seven. So it took down basically a week's growth. Anyways, so um, at least since, yeah, so a week's growth almost. Anyways, so I'll see y'all on the post shave. See you in a minute. Hey everybody, that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. A great way, oh, plus two. The cool thing that I found with these here Artist Club razors. Got a little bit of your hair. There you go. Ooh. Okay, that might not have been a good idea. Anyways, I'll use my hair and those hair trimmer or my trimmer. Um, yeah, I think I nicked my hair. <laughs> anyways, that's why I get for showing off. Anyhow, so anyways, yeah, it was a great shave. Um, for those of you who are still with me, thank you. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead. Let's do the post, shall we? <sighs> Almost out of the Dickinsons. Go and get more though. Gotta get more. I love that stuff. No tingle. As Paul H. says, not a tingle. And I'm not even going to try and do a Welsh accent. I don't want to butcher it. Oh, oh, that feels nice. Feels really nice. But yeah, so. Anyways, I know this here video might have been a little different. As far as what I spoke about, um, gonna put a little bit of aftershave bomb. It was a little cool out today. Um, I think today it was 82, but we had a cool breeze blowing. It was wonderful. Um, fall is definitely coming in. Tiny bit of aftershave bomb. This is Nivea sensitive cooling, by the way. Yeah, that's good. That's really nice. I need to start using my um, Takata bomb more often. I mean, that thing's pretty full. <laughs> I mean, I got a big old tube of this stuff. So, I just really, really like my Nivea. So that, a lot of times I use too much. But, and then finally, the aftershave is Ice Blue Aqua Velva. The razor performed beautifully. Um, gave me a great shave, the blade. Um, did a really good job at whacking down the whiskers. The brush. Absolutely love it. It's one of, it is probably my favorite brush, my most favorite brush in the den. Definitely. Um, the soap, absolutely, absolutely top notch, top tier, top performing soap. Gives you everything you want creamy lather, slickness, cushion. Glide residual slickness. If you're unfamiliar with those terms, then it's just all things that you want in a soap, put it that way. Um, and mm, I love that smell. But, uh, and of course, the post shape products are top notch. And uh, just all around. Excellent, excellent way to celebrate this 20 year anniversary of being clean off of amphetamines. Um, if you're watching, if you're a viewer of this video that is currently using drugs and you feel like you're in a deep, dark hole and you see no way out, 
you see no light at the end of the tunnel. Luckily, I was able to walk away and be done, but that doesn't work for everybody. Um, some believe that it's a choice. Yeah, it's a choice to start, but it's not always a choice to stay in it. I know I wanted out of it so bad, and it finally took the realization that I was probably going to die if I didn't get out of it. Because I'd, I'd sunk the lowest that you could go. Um, there's programs out there. There's programs out there. Salvation Army. Um, churches. Some churches will help. Just do what you got to do. Get into get into to meetings. Whatever you got to do to get out of it. And just stay strong and you can do it. Anyways. Um, for those of you who might at one point been in it, you know how tr tough the struggle can be. For those who have no idea how hard it can be, don't ever use drugs. Drugs are bad, as Mr. Mackey on South Park used to say. Um, too bad he's no longer on the show, that kind of sucks. But anyways, anyhow, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you ever need to get in touch with me, um, just lance59 at gmail.com, all lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, if you do subscribe, whack that bell so you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy. Um, thanks for watching, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the lake. Bye-bye now.